Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and in today's spotlight, we're going to talk about my wife's favorite fish, the yellow clown goby. Meet Kevin, my yellow clown goby. Kevin is absolutely my wife's favorite fish, and I think the reason is obvious. This guy probably has more personality than all my other fish put together. He is just the coolest little guy and so pretty. He spends most of the day just hanging out on the coral branches, but it doesn't seem to matter to him whether it's a hard coral or a soft coral. He just likes to find a nice place to perch. And he's just the cutest little guy. When I first put Kevin in the tank, he decided he was going to live in this toadstool mushroom. And of course, this toadstool mushroom wasn't used to anything trying to live in it. So Kevin really annoyed it. It wouldn't open up for weeks, so I'd move the coral and Kevin would follow it. And I got really, really frustrated. Eventually the coral adapted to Kevin living in it. But that is the downside of these clown gobies. They will absolutely stress out the coral. But what I've noticed is after having this guy in the tank, long term, the corals absolutely get used to them. Now these guys have a reputation for picking at stony corals. And they do a little bit, right? But he's not really causing any problems in my tank. He really likes the bird's nest corals and the monies. Now I've had this guy for almost a year and he's a little bigger than when I got him. They just don't get big. These guys are gonna match, max out at about an inch and a half. No bigger than that. And really, a 10 gallon tank will do ya. So while they'll do fine in a 10 gallon tank, they also thrive in a big tank with big fish. But come feeding time, this guy will absolutely get in there amongst the big fish and eat. A big tang or rice or anything will not scare this little guy off. He will absolutely be in the middle of the pack. And what I feed my clown goby is the LRS Reef Frenzy product. He just loves the little frozen pieces. So if you're looking for a little fish with big personality, these little yellow clown gobies are tough to beat. You can find these guys from kind of the $8 to $15 range. Huge personalities. And if you have a pair of them, they will absolutely pair off and potentially breed in your tank. So like clownfish, these fish can absolutely change gender. When kept in pairs or multiples, they will change sex as needed to perpetuate their genes. Now, I've never actually kept multiples, but by reputation, they are supposed to get a little scrappy with each other when there's multiples in the tank, and they're supposed to kind of chew back at pieces of coral where they lay their eggs. And these guys absolutely have been raised in captivity. So there we go. There's my species spotlight on the clown goby. So everybody, say goodbye to Kevin. If you like my channel, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.